How to win an architecture competition? Skyscraper version. No grasshopper is needed. Starting with a straight line, we draw a spiral. Draw another smaller spiral. Loft them together to create this ribbon. Draw a circle in between them. Sweep to rail command to create this blobby thing. Boom! Modeling completed. Rebuild the surface so that we can extract ISO curves to the density that we want. Click preview to see if the density is what you want structurally sound. Pipe them to get a decent looking structure. Now there we go. Yay, we're winning. Continue to detail the model by chopping off the head. Use the cone command to build the weird looking penthouse. Extrude the edge to the bottom of the tower to create a core. Add a sphere for additional program. Some structure detail by offsetting the edge. Give it a thicker pipe. Remember the ribbon thing? We're gonna extrude it and contour it to create the terrace. Separate the elements into different layers to assign materials. And the modeling is done. Blender, which is free, which is important. Enable Blender GIS plugin. Press G to search London. Click SRTM in the menu to download the 3D model of London. Technology! Isn't it amazing? To texture the buildings, go to UV editing map. Hit U and project from view. Align the buildings to the satellite image. And there you have it, a fully textured urban model of London. Go to shading tab, add a curve to the material to make it look more realistic. Adjust the saturation of the material by using the hue and saturation node. Import the building model from Rhino using the OBJ format, scale it up. Adjust the camera viewport and we can start composing. Click I to save the view. Set the material by using the material tab. Change the base color to change the base color. Change the roughness to control how reflective the surface is. And we're going for a lot of reflection. Tweak the materials until you get what you want. Add a point light on a side to make the geometry pop. After some tweaking and adjusting, we are good to go. Unfortunately, the rendering itself only took 5.48 seconds. <clears throat> Shout out to those dinosaurs who are still using V-Ray. Photoshop, since we render the image in three layers, we can paint the sky behind the first layer. Give it a tint of blue. Paint some fog on the horizon to make the transition smooth. To accentuate the white structure, we're going to darken the interior of the tower. Add some clouds, as usual, to cover up the low-res urban image. Listen up, the following is important. Add some reflection on the blue core by squeezing and mirroring the entire image on the reflective part. And it's going to make your image look much nicer. See? To finish up the image, we're going to draw some shadow to accentuate the form of the tower with a tint of blue because that's how the sky looks. Camera raw filter to add the final touch, sharpening, vignette, grain, you name it. And there you have it. If you make it to here, congratulations. Just some final words here regarding the copyright crisis. Thanks to all of your support. Finally, I can put this behind me. For those of you out there, a little piece of advice. Stick to what you believe in. Do not give up.